Hello there, fellas out there. This is Simon CT86YT. And you can see, I'm on my 360, yes, because my Xbox One broke a while ago. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to get a mod skater. It's called a bait skater. I know it's not mine, but I showed you how to get it online. And other people can't see it sadly, so it's one of the rarest skaters you can get in Skate 30 for your USB on the Xbox 360. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is go on your 360, sign into Xbox Live, and go over to your settings. Well, if you have a save already. If you don't, you just go into your save, copy it, and do this. Go over to your storage. Go over to, plug in a USB like here. And see I got 29.0 gigabytes. And you go to Cloud Saver Storage, and I'll do Cloud Saver for short because it makes it easier. So you go to here, you go to here. Yeah, don't mind all the games. I'm going up to Skate 3. You go down to the save that has your name on it. For example, this says Skater. And you see it says I'm going to work out there. But here it says Skater, Save Game. And it says my name. Press that and press Copy or Move. Copy those two things over, and you should be good to go with the editing. I'll give you the files in the description down below. You just edit the credentials, and you should be good. And I put all the skaters modded and all that, so it's good to have the default when you just load in. You have all four skaters plus your main one as all bait skaters. So here we go. So then you go back to USB, go down to your skate 3, go to your save, and copy and move. Like, Really simple as that. So let's get into the gameplay now. So I'm going over to my games. And I'm going to blow it into Skate 3 right now. Yep, I just passed it. But here we go. Skate 3. It'll log in offline first. So don't mind that part. You just press A. Load from your USB this time. If you want to do it right in this one, convert it to your cloud save. You should be 100% safe to do so. I'm just skipping this little intro here. I'm not cutting anything out. CC30, press plus, press A. And now, if you're on Xbox One, you'll see this. I can do this for you guys, or you can do hard drive or USB. I'm going to do a USB, you're going to do my hard drive because I did convert to my hard drive, so let's go do it. This will take a little bit of time, so I'm going to speed up the video. As you see, it's not connected to EA Nation because I have a black box feature. So, let's get into the video. Okay, now we're in. So, we should be able to see all this stuff coming up. Then we go straight into the game and you'll have a white skater. As you see, white skater with some unusual textures on his body. Yes. And you're wondering, what is so special about that skater? Well, originally it has no way to import it. It has these cool glasses. It has nothing on its border. Like, yeah, this has nothing special. But you'll see once you go into profile editor, you can't import this skater. If you open the glitch skater, you try importing it. But let's just see what it looks like. So you go to Head Skater. As you can see, we got a bait save, and we got all these modded saves. And Ryan Remix made this, so don't mind if I stole your convert, but all you do is go into it, press Edit Skater, and this is what the skater should look like. As you can see, it says you don't have the DLC, but it should still give you this black box feature. It looks really dope. As you see, it's red and black, red and blue with a blue skateboard and a blue grip tape. You can edit all you want, and you want to make your own skater. All you do is go back out. It'll save your progress. And then you go to any of these skaters. You can make a female one, too, so you have to make a female one. This one I'll edit a little bit, so I'm going to edit. I'll show you how this actually works. As you see, all you do is edit merchandise. For example, if I wanted to edit his leg. I go to body mods. I go down to um, where is it? Lower body tattoo, right leg. As you see, there's nothing on there. 
So all I have to do is put on the stylish tattoos. And you can see you have these four different buttons here. What these four do are like modded, non-scoped version of, you know, wall pictures. So one and two don't go all the way out, but you see there's a bait logo right there. But four and three do. So if you want to scale that all the way up, you can do so. To make it into socks. It looks really dope that way. Or you can do this one, where you can scale this one up. Make it the whole leg look weird. If you wanted to. And you can rotate it too, so you can do anything you want. This time I'm going to just keep it as this. And as you see, it keeps it like that. You can do upper body too. So let's go to that. Go to stylish again. This time I'm going to do number four, because I haven't done four in this one. And as you can see, it makes his arm red. If you want to rotate it and make one of his arms non red, all you have to do is just rotate it a little bit. And then there you go, there I have a blue and red. So it's kind of messed up though, so I'm trying to rewind it. It's to make your hands purple too. If I can find that right. There you go. I like that more, so I'm going to keep that. It looks like a Pepsi camp. And as you can see, he looks really better now. So now you can press B and save. And you know, I prefer to save just like that. So that's how you get your modded skater. You can't import it. And you see, now he looks good though. Yeah. Let's do a little purple for you guys. If I can do one. As you can see, it looks really good. And you're like, Simon, how do you do all this import shit? Uh, yeah, you need a 360. So, if you're asking for imports, I'm not doing import skaters anymore. See you guys later. This is Simon 3 2 3 Sign it out. It's the pole. Ooh.